In Romania, heavy snowfall has closed many national roads and several motorways. 80 km an hour winds resulted in flights being cancelled, villages being left without electricity and two fatalities in a road accident in the south of the country. saw the sky last night. Some of you, in fact, called our newsroom saying you saw a bright light moving across the sky. Now, today, an astronomy professor told us what you saw was a fireball, a brighter version of a meteor. They sometimes make noise, either from a sonic boom or an explosion. Meteorites are dense, made mostly of iron. Red-hot lava streams have been sighted flowing down the sides of Europe's most active volcano, Mount Etna, on the Italian island of Sicily. The eruption is the first of 2014, after a particularly active year in 2013. Hey, good morning. And before we get to the weather, I actually want to show you this video of something that's been popping up across the country this winter. They are called snow rollers. So rare, most have never seen one. And they're cylinders made of snow with a hollow center. You can see it right there on your screen. Pretty cool stuff. And they are created by the wind. So the wind actually rolls that into that shape, similar to how we would roll a snowball to make a snowman. And that's been happening across states like Pennsylvania and also in Ohio. But now the weather conditions. Brutal deep freeze now, hitting so many millions. I mean, someone said 80 million Americans affected by this. And look at the deep south, too. Severe winter weather creating dangerous conditions in Texas and in Virginia, North Carolina. A mix of snow and sleet and ice and the wind chill readings well below zero. This is very rare. As you know, it's the kind of weather you might see once in a generation. And as you said, such weather events, cold weather events, are so rare in this part of the country that these communities um, all up and down uh, throughout the southeast don't have the large fleets of heavy equipment that you need to deal with such storms that you might find in the upper Midwest. Yeah, they're not used to it like we are up here north. Um, things are so bad, a number of school districts down south issued shelter-in-place orders. Nearly 10,000 kids were trapped at their schools overnight. 16-hour commutes were not uncommon. Six states from Louisiana to North Carolina have declared a state of emergency, and in Georgia alone, crews have already responded to more than 900 accidents. We even kept 14 Atlanta area stores open overnight to offer shelter to stranded drivers. This is a complete and utter disaster, and uh, people Blue. were actually, yeah, and people were taking to social media um, in order to look for help. Another item from our natural world, the problem in Clovis, New Mexico, is tumbleweeds. Several feet of them in some places. Residents are calling these nearly impassable streets and packed front yards the tumbleweed invasion of 2014. The city's public works department has been cleaning tumbleweeds since Sunday night when they say high winds swept thousands of the prickly weeds into town. I lived here for 23 years and never seen this, so it's, it's pretty crazy. The city says it'll be out here for weeks cleaning up the mess. Swollen rivers threatening parts of Italy. The river Erno burst its banks, causing flooding around the Tuscan towns of Pisa and Florence. These aerial pictures show how some homes in the region are completely cut off. More than 1,000 people are caught up, many of them forced to evacuate their homes. Floods in parts of central Italy have left behind significant destruction. This was the aftermath of a huge mudslide that floodwater brought to the town of Capena near Rome. The capital, Rome, has also been hit hard, with residents in the north advised not to drive. In the Dolomites to the north, the army was forced to intervene with snow plows to deal with the record amount of snow in the Veneto region. All mountain passes were closed after more than two meters of snow fell. Train services to and from neighboring Austria came to a halt. Temperatures have risen in the Alps, leading to fears of avalanches. Violent eruptions from Indonesia's Mount Sinabung 
leaving at least 16 people dead, which officials say is the first time the volcano has claimed any lives. Listed among the dead, four high school students and their teacher. The eruption came a day after authorities allowed thousands of nearby villagers who had been evacuated to return home, saying the volcano's activity was decreasing. An earthquake with a 6.1 magnitude has struck off western Greece just one week after another quake hit the same area. Seismologists say it was centered near the island of Kefalonia and was felt in the capital Athens. Kefalonia was first hit on January 26th with a quake measuring 5.8 on the Richter scale. Since then, hundreds of residents have been sleeping in their cars or passenger ferries docked at the island, either unable or too afraid to enter their homes. Rescue operations are still underway in different parts of Iran to help those affected by the country's heaviest snowfalls in almost five decades. The Iranian Red Cross and Society says over 10,000 people trapped in 18 different provinces have been rescued. Rescue operations are also underway in the northern provinces of Gilan and Mazandaran, where the storm dumped an average one and a half meters of snow in some areas. The heavy snow has left nearly half a million people without electricity and gas there. Iran's President Hassan Rouhani has ordered authorities to closely follow the situation. More than 400 dead dolphins were found last month mysteriously washed up on the Pacific Ocean beaches of northern Peru. Authorities never established the cause of the deaths and are now carrying out autopsies on the mammals. And it's not just dolphins being washed ashore. A sea turtle and a seal among the dead too. As picture-perfect as it looks, snow has brought havoc to Slovenia. In a country of around two million people, one in four homes are without power. And that's because of this. All people can do is wait until help arrives. But that help may take some time. Blizzards have disrupted transport and closed more than 40% of schools. And if that wasn't bad enough, People have been asked not to drink the tap water either. The winter blast has caused chaos in Serbia, Croatia and Germany too. This is Austria. Homeowners have been shoveling for days. The wintry conditions are also causing problems in Italy, where they are suffering from widespread flooding. Torrential rain has caused misery for homeowners. Just getting around is a challenge, which is why the tens of thousands affected will be hoping an end to this extreme weather is in sight soon. Now imagine waking up to find that your car has disappeared, swallowed by a sinkhole in your driveway. This is what happened in Buckinghamshire yesterday when a 30-foot hole opened up in front of Zoe Smith's house, taking her car with it. Luckily, no one was injured, but the local council now investigating why the sinkhole, which measures 15 foot in diameter, appeared. We want to get to today's top story, and guess what? It's the weather. Cold, wet, dangerous, and slamming half the country right now. This monster snow started falling on Tuesday. Already it's impacted 115 million people in nearly two dozen states. This stretches from the Midwest, where schools are canceled and there are states of emergency, all the way up to the Northeast. From Maryland to New Jersey to Maine, it's lights out for many. But it's especially bad in Pennsylvania. As of early Thursday, at least 500,000 homes and businesses in Pennsylvania didn't have power. Utilities say it could take until Saturday to restore power to everyone there. Utility companies said it could take until Friday to restore power to the 125,000 customers still in the dark in Maryland. The governor of Pennsylvania has compared the effort to get the lights back on to that of Superstorm Sandy. This storm is, um, in some respects, as bad or maybe even worse than Hurricane Sandy. We really want people to understand that there is significant damage that needs to be repaired, so we will be working on this for many days to come. 3,000 utility workers are trying to get this area back online. But trees brought down by the weight of a half inch of ice have blocked access for crews from as far away as Arkansas and Massachusetts. Those downed trees plus iced over power lines cutting electricity to more than a million customers throughout the Northeast. Record-setting frigid temperatures and snowfall are causing record-breaking cleanup costs along the eastern seaboard.
In parts of Maine, where snowfall is nearing 17 inches above average for this time of year, crews are out in full force even as funds dwindle. They activated Ice Force Level 1 in Dallas today, which launched a fleet of trucks to sand slippery roads. In this winter of strange and severe weather, even central Texas got a rare snowfall. More than half a million homes and businesses are still without power in the Northeast. The average low temperature in the continental U.S. today was 11 degrees, the lowest of the season. First the storm, now the single-digit temperatures moving in, freezing everything in place. Just look, this from Maryland tonight, the power lines turning to icicles, snapping with cars underneath. In Philadelphia, that state of emergency in Pennsylvania tonight, hundreds of thousands spending this evening in the dark as those temperatures now plummet. Battered by the sea, this is Devon. Huge tides whip homes and businesses. It seems the severe weather that's affected parts of Britain for days is not going away anytime soon. A vital rail link in southwest England left hanging. The visible evidence of a storm which has battered the region caused widespread flooding and political posturing. British Prime Minister David Cameron has pledged an extra 35 million euros. Too little, too late, say critics. It's estimated the region's economy has been hit to the tune of two and a half million euros each day. Meanwhile, much of southern England and parts of the Midlands have experienced twice the average rainfall in January. These are the scenes in Moreland that have seen people in around 140 homes urged to evacuate due to the ongoing devastation caused by flooding. After more heavy rain overnight, there is no sign of the waterline dropping for those living in the summer.